Hi guys, so I think today I'm gonna review um, this Petite French frames that just came in. Oh, there's the receipt, <laughs> my address. Um, I ordered this on HSN on craft day. Like I said, I, I haven't been following up, but I know from a lot of you guys that your orders are packaging or they're whatever they processing or that kind of thing. Um, so I don't know how HSN really handles a lot of their stuff. Cause a lot of times if they haven't shipped it yet, they still let you cancel it. So like right now, a lot of things are extended delivery. And I thought, oh, they put on extended delivery because they just don't want people to buy it out, you know, on craft day or the day before. Uh, no, it's still on extended delivery. So I would assume that means they didn't get the stuff in that they needed to send out, right, the stock. And they're just kind of winging it, waiting for those things to come in. And then um, a lot of things are in processing or packaging, whatever it is that they, I forget which word they use. So I can't cancel those. I, I'm not going to, but like if you wanted to, it doesn't matter. They're already holding it for you, right? Um, which is kind of a bummer. And then I think I just got an email saying that uh, I'm expecting deliveries sometime here. So hopefully whatever it is comes in soon. I'm not too worried about it. I have so many things to review, like it's fine. <laughs> things are held off and don't come in for a while. So um, I didn't order too much. I mean, more than I wanted to, right? Because of the shipping, but um, normally I would order like 20, 30 things or whatever, right? I mean, like ridiculous, whatever the Anna Griffin brought, whatever Crafter's Companion brought, whatever Diamond Press bought, I'm buying all of it, right? Um, and maybe some extra things. <laughs> so uh, this time I just stuck to what really, really, really uh, I thought was cute. And then with Anna Griffin, it's always just basically whatever she has because I buy all of it. And same thing with Diamond Press. But anyhow, <laughs> um, Sorry, I got a little sip of coffee. This is the Petite French Frame dies, which I guess came pretty quickly. The little card you just saw is a tutorial review I'm doing um, for Local King. These are items I picked up myself, but I always review things even if I bought it or somebody sent it to me, right? So this is, anyway, I just wanted to mention that because just in case there was some confusion there. But those are some items I picked up. So um, really cute, the little uh, lamb or sheep, I guess, I don't know. What's the difference, sheep, lamb? You guys can let me know, I have to look it up. Um, Petit French frame. All right, let's open this up and see what this is about. I am curious to see, I did order that one that's like a square and suppose you kind of fold it in. I think it was an auto ship, um, just because. And saying that, I also have her, <clears throat> I bought this a while back and I don't know why I haven't reviewed it. If you have, <clears throat> Right now with um, HSN, you have 90 days to return your stuff. And I think if you bought something in February, you better get that going, or maybe that's already over for February. I don't know. Because um, I do have some things from February. I was like, oh no, I gotta get this out. So um, <laughs> we will see. Uh, the 3D square embossing folders. So maybe, well, I don't think they go together, but I haven't reviewed this. And it's just, you know, embossing folders like she does. Let me open this real quick. Oh, apparently I put ink on it, so I don't know. I've had this for a minute though, so I'm not exactly sure when I got these. Um, I did want to show them to you because I have her square compendium dies, so I think I might have bought it around the same time. Oh, it's only two? Okay, it's only two folders and they were like 25 bucks now that I think about it. But okay, uh, 3D square layered uh, lace and this one's called Square Birds and Branches. So really cool, they're really big. Oh, this one has like a little area. Obviously this one has a circle so you can layer things up, but this is like the square. I just, I never know what to do with something like this. I feel like you're gonna end up covering it up. Cause like what, do you just put a sentiment and then, you know, the embossing folder is its own thing. Let me see this really quick. Just cause they were here next to me. I'm probably not gonna do a video on them. Six inch square. So let's look at these real quick. So obviously she used an X-Acto knife cause these aren't cut and embossed, but she cut the uh, rectangle out. This one she just layered over it, like I said, you probably would end up doing. This one she also cut it out and put some vellum behind it. So again, you have a little work to do if you want that to be a meaningful, you know, card, right? These look really cute. Aw, these are adorable. So apparently, obviously, they're gonna fit in your mini. I always kind of bring out the rubber embossing mat. This is a little bit smaller than your plates anyway, but as you can see, it covers it, so. If you have a mini impress, it'll work. Marquee. Um, I'm assuming it would work in maybe your Gemini mini if you have that. Or let me see. Think about selling my Gemini Go, guys. If you guys are interested or if somebody's interested, let me know because um, I hardly ever use it. It's the electronic one, the Go, but it's a small, the mini one. And I have a full set of plates for it and all that. So uh, three and a quarter by four and a half ish. So that'll let you know if you have a smaller machine. Um, so let's try some of these out. And I mean, that's the larger one. So this is cute. I like the little bow. Let me grab some papers and we'll try to layer something up. Let's see what the ideas are. 
I always say, you don't gotta reinvent the wheel. Like if you're at a loss for something, like you're not really sure how to use something, I go with the idea sheet, why not? I mean, obviously this has a lot more things on that maybe you have at the house, right? Cause she has all these stickers. And I do have plenty of the stickers, but um, it's just you know, to give you some ideas of how to layer that up. Like this one, she looks like she kind of put like a belly band in the back of it and stack that up. Um, this might be something like more geared to what I'm probably gonna do today. This background one obviously does not in here, so you have to figure that part out, what you're gonna cut in the back. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, start out having some gold. I have this kind of really pretty color. I don't know what you would call it, like raspberry -ish. I don't know. And then this paper pack that I bought a long time ago, um, Anna Griffin paper pack, I don't know. But I'm gonna use this one on top. These are already cut down like five by seven, uh, six inch squares, <laughs> which is kind of what I have there. I didn't even notice these are double dot sided. Um, and then some larger papers here. But I'm gonna use that, and I don't know, well, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't, floral cardstock is all it says, so pretty generic sounding there. And I'm probably gonna use my Empress because I don't wanna move things around, so I'm just gonna turn that on. I have a lot of stuff sitting here, I'd rather not move it at the moment. And what's funny is I was like, where? I know I have a, like a gold scrap of paper of hers to just do the little bow with. So I'm going to kind of go off of this one. And um, so these are the petite French frames. I have the larger ones too. So I think that's what she did here. She put the larger one in the back from the original set. And then she stacked this. Because if you look at this shape, it looks just like that one. But this one's quite a bit smaller. But I'm still going to stack them together and see what happens since she loves to layer, right? So um, I'm still going to use that. I, I'm assuming, I'm looking at this bow, I thought it was the same one from here, but now I'm like, is it from... Yeah, that's crazy. It looks totally bigger when it's sitting here on its own than here. So we're gonna cut that out too, obviously. So let's, uh, and this is gonna be my card base, but I'm gonna cut this frame out of this one. Uh, I guess we'll just put it in the corner just to save paper, but I would rather kind of try to catch. It's gonna be covered up anyway, so what does it matter, huh? You know, I'll do it this way. That way we're not wasting a lot of paper. And I can still use that pretty focal kind of area later. Does it go this way? No. All right, so we're gonna cut that guy. Ugh. I'm gonna have to put this down here. It's gonna click to it, yep. <laughs> and then this one. If you don't care that your paper is straight because the design is kind of like, it doesn't matter. But if you want it to be straight, make sure to, I'll layer it up differently this next time so you can see what you should do so that your, uh, your stuff is all lined up. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna emboss it because it's in the background anyway and so much of it's gonna be covered. This is more just for texture. So let me just flip this out here. I'm just violently smacking the back of this poor thing. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'll get those last two out. But really pretty. I mean, there's a little bit of embossing already. So it's really nice. Okay, sorry, I'm multitasking. I have a giveaway result video to upload, so I went back to check on that. Um, and, and this one, if you were going to go ahead and emboss it, just make sure this is exactly where it needs to be, right back in the die. You know, you can put a little piece of tape if you would like. You know, it kind of kind of clicks in because obviously it just came out of there. And then you would run it back through and then you're going to have some embossing of this area and all those cute little notches there. Run it back through with your rubber embossing mat. Really cute though because like this also has another die in the middle here, this center one, that you can either make this into a frame, right? So you can cut this away. When you run it through, you can leave that plate plus this, or you can do it separately so you're ensured that you don't hurt it. But you can run it through and then it makes a frame, or you can just cut this on another piece of paper and frame that up perfectly there, you know? Really cute. Um, and they all have that option, and they all have this little, this little decorative option. Okay, so I'll put that to the side for now. And what else do we got? I'm gonna put this down first this time. <laughs> And I want to do the pink one. I'm just going to cut this with my hand, guys. But of course, if you want to save your paper, and you can cut that differently there. And I'm going to put this die and this guy. And then my other cutting plate. Just 
make sure that's on there. Press your run button. Don't forget to press run. Hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. We just <laughs> obviously stayed home. Um, and then I was like, what food do I want? Because I don't really go out to get food as often, obviously, as I used to. Because, uh, you know, it's nice to go and support our local businesses, obviously. But I'm like, that's just more people's hands that I don't know where they've been in <laughs> things, right? So, um... We went to Sonic. <laughs> I went to get some drive through food and it was packed. So I'm like, apparently everyone had the idea to go to Sonic. This paper is just recollections paper and I wanted you to see how warped it looks right now. So not the best paper in the world. I'm gonna turn this over into my rubber embossing mat and then go one more time so we can emboss this. And um, yeah, everyone was there. I was like, what the heck? So we just went for a quick ride. The kids didn't even wanna go with us. So it was just my husband and I. So that was nice. We spent, you know, 30 minutes maybe <laughs> by ourselves. But, um, good times. So that's all we did. Do you guys do anything sweet? Anything extra special? So it cuts really nicely. The embossing still isn't quite there. Maybe I would run it through with the metal shim too underneath just to give it a little more, punch it up a little more. But for now, that's fine. Um, so my idea was to just layer these up. So obviously you're not going to see that too much in the background, but that's okay. And we're going to cut out one more bow in gold. You know what, maybe I'm gonna use this one too. We will see. This one, I am not gonna tear. I know I have an extra little piece of like gold paper laying around somewhere cause I'm always <clears throat> cutting into it just like this, but I couldn't find it. So I had to cut a whole new piece of five by seven. Again, where's the, here we go. And some people like to cut into their magnetic mat. I'm not one of those people. And that would be, you know, um, Anna, she cuts right into it, but I don't have unlimited magnetic mats and I'd rather not do that. So I just use it differently. Let me make sure my paper's not gonna move. Ugh, I hope it doesn't move. We will see what happens. <clears throat> but supposedly if you do do that, and I've done it before, it cuts and embosses at the same time, but it doesn't really. So to me, it's not worth cutting into my magnetic mat. And that embossed pretty good on its own just because of the pressure and small die. So I'm not going to run it through again. But if you wanted to run it through again, again, run it through with your embossing folder. I'm going to put this to the side for right now because I'm not exactly sure. So that's going to go there. And then let me look at my stickers. If I have a sticker that just mats in there perfectly right now, I'll just do that. But if not, we'll do another little oval and then go okay. from there. Let's see what happens. I have this Quotes and Flowers. And I look through tons of boxes. This one's called Quotes and Flowers. I always bring out that bird one. Uh, I don't know. So this is just standard A2 size card because I figure this is pretty small, so it'll work. But again, if you have the original French frames or any other frames, you can just keep layering up until you get to the size you need them to be if you are a stand, you know, a 5x7 girl. Um... So I cut this paper and I did cut it with my guillotine. And as you can see, it's not quite right. I'm telling you, ay, the Crafters Companion guillotine. Like it's always just a little bit off. Like it's fine on the sides, but look, I mean, I, if all things being equal, you know, if I cut a quarter inch less all around, so this piece of paper is five and a quarter by uh, four, it should mat the same all around, but it kind of doesn't. Oh, and you know what? This cream colored paper that I use for the card base is from Hobby Lobby and it's their heavy white card stock. It's pretty good. I mean, for a card base, I think it's pretty good. This was the cream pack. I think it's $8.99 is what it said on the package. I don't know. I probably bought it on sale, but it says $8.99 and then it said um, cream is the color. <laughs> so if you find that, it seems like good stuff. I used some of the white the other day and it was pretty good. So um, I know I, most of the time I order my stuff from Crafters Companion, but if you're in a pinch or you don't, want to order overseas. Um, somebody had mentioned the other day quickly, um, I always say that I'm gonna be waiting until they open their US office again. They have a warehouse here and supposedly only the machines come from the warehouse. Like if you order a Gemini or something, it'll, and you're in the US, it'll come from this office. I got really excited with that glue. <laughs> Went a little bit too far everywhere. Um, but everything else you order is still coming from the UK. So please know just because you ordered from or you think the US office is open now, because I understand it is, or at least you can call them, so which is great because there's an issue. If there's an issue, there's always seems to be an issue. Um, you can call them and they can take care of it instead of waiting for someone to email you. So uh, it's a little more proactive. 
But no, the items are still coming from the UK. So if you're, you know, thinking about shipping delays, you're still gonna have shipping delays. Um, so uh, it's kind of a bummer this recollections paper is so wonky. I'm gonna have to use, you know, I love using my, uh, my glue, but if I use the glue, it's gonna stay wonky like. So I'm gonna grab some adhesive. Oh, these are tiny. <laughs> you just, I don't know if you can see these, how small each square is. Super tiny. Um, let me grab some dimensional adhesive. I'll be right okay. back. So people ask me why I like the glue better than just like dimensionals. And I'm like, do you like picking these little pieces off? Because <laughs> I don't. So that's why I like my my glue better. But, um, you know, that's up to you, obviously. And um, so I'm just going to put that on there. So that way it keeps it kind of uniform a little better. We're obviously going to put this on. I'm just not sure exactly where yet. And... Let's dig through this and see what we have. I don't even know that this is going to work or what these shapes are. They're kind of big, huh? Ooh, and they're funky, funky shapes. So I just noticed that all of them are the ones I have are kind of funky shapes. That's a bummer. I don't have any ovals. Even in my other kits. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but these are really big. Darn it. Okay, let me go back to the drawing board as okay, far as so the I sentiment. Just one flower, because I think it's it's small card. It might be a little too much if I go a little overboard. But again, and I always end up back at this one. This is the Feather Sentiments and Embellishments box. If you don't see this on HSN, look on Anna's site. Apparently, she always has little sales here and there. And then, um, you know, free shipping over a certain amount. So if you're going to pay so much more in shipping on HSN, kind of boosts up your, your tally there, you might as well just go shop with the vendors themselves. See, that one's, again, I used that one the other day, didn't I? Our deepest condolences. I... So that's the one thing with this one. It has some that are aspirational, really cute, and then it has a lot of, like, kind of sympathy things. Our hearts are with you. Let's do that one, because it matches. Um, this green one also looks really pretty. So this one, always wishing you a smooth recovery. So, um... Again, we can cut a little space there. Oh, should I? I'm going to have to cut something. I'm going to cut that middle ring for this part. Okay, and I'll so I just ran that oval, and I just had an idea. But, uh, I don't know. Let me see if my idea. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I wasn't going to review the other thing. And I can put this here, and then put this here. But, since we're already here, why not run it through one of these square frames just to get an, a little idea of the... Um, the texture that's on here. So down here, I can see there's like a bird and some flowers and some other stuff. So why don't we put it here? No, well, no, let's put it somewhere where it's actually going to emboss pretty well. Probably right here in this little corner. Really cute though. And let's run this through. And I always forget if it's just the two cutting plates. I'm assuming it's just two cutting plates. It should be. Um. Oh. It says, place an A-plate on your work surface, add D-metal shim on top. This is weird because the picture doesn't show the metal shim unless that's, that's all that is. It looks like the rubber mat. So we have this guy, metal shim that's always really stuck to my magnetic sheet. And then the second A-plate. So cutting plate, metal shim. Folder with your paper in it and then the other cutting plate. That felt really tight, so it was probably gonna give you a really good embossing. Somebody had said the other day she ran her plates and it cracked. Can you imagine the sound that would make? Oh my gosh, I would have been freaked out. But again, if your paper has a side that you want to be facing up, it should be facing up towards the words Anna Griffin. Uh, I know Crafters Companion does a little backwards, so just make sure with each uh, company that things that you use that you're doing it the right way. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. So I will stick this down. Right in there. And I got glue all over the place. What is my problem with glue this morning? To be honest, my head wasn't kind of in this project. I'm thinking about other things I have to review. And um, I just got in a ton of things from Diamond Press for, I believe, the next... Uh, craft day? I don't really know because <laughs> I haven't talked with them, but um, I just got a little package and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so we will see, but I have a feeling that's what it's for. And then, of course, the things I ordered from Local King that I would like to review for you guys. I have stuff coming in from a couple other companies that's really 
fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying that I'm showing you some different things from some different places that maybe are off the beaten path, maybe you haven't heard of. Um, at the expos, a lot of these companies, that's what they do. They only work the expos. And, um, and you might not hear from them or of them otherwise, right? So let's get that there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did order recently a ton of stuff from <laughs> Art Impressions and I probably went a little overboard. Um, I had a link for you guys to get discounts from uh, a meetup from Michigan, I guess, with the scrapbook expos and things like that being canceled, people are still having virtual ones. And so you can still get some great deals and maybe an extra discount code or whatever else. I was going to put this here, but now I feel like that's pretty good, no? I don't know. I put this crooked. I'm going to have to mess with this after <laughs> this here, but... I'm really, I don't know, guys. I know with Anna Griffin, we usually want to junk it out and put a bunch of stuff, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we're okay. So that's it. Um, so yeah, check out those links. I'll have the links for those uh, scrapbook. Um, I know a lot of the, the one I discussed the other day in another video as far as discounts through expos, um, some of them are good until the end of May. Local King has an extra 5% off for you guys and 20% off their site, and that's good until the May, until May 15th. So if there's anything in this the haul that I did recently that you guys think is cute, you might want to get on that. Um, I'll have all those links in the description box for you guys. So thanks for watching. Um, I really like that embossing folder. That's really pretty. I like the what it did there. Um, and everything else looks really nice together. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video and are doing well, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.